What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. I'm very, very excited to continue to vlog with y'all going into 2024. I got a lot of updates that I want to give you guys, new vehicles that I just purchased. Some of you are familiar with what it is that I already got because you're a part of the Millionaire Morning Show. But we are doing some really, really great things and I'm looking forward to having those conversations. But that's not the conversation that I want to have with you tonight. The conversation that I want to have with you right now is how come we don't give just as much energy to what's going on with Jonathan Majors as far as this new footage that's released. And for those of you that's been living under a rock, let me bring you up to speed. Uh, obviously he's on trial for assault and a bunch of other stuff. And um, you know, he should have never been with this chick in the first place. Apparently he met her on a set of a movie. Uh, I think Ant-Man or something like that. And she's basically ruined his life by accusing him of doing something that obviously he didn't do. Recent footage has basically been released showing that he's running away from this chick. He's on the New York City streets. Thank God that we got cameras because there are so many different guys that's been accused of stuff that they didn't do. He's on the New York City streets running away from this chick that's chasing him. Then she goes out to the bar, parties, no visible signs of trauma. Thank God that uh, we got audio and video and all of this other type of stuff. And then, you know, it's a lot of guys and women that saying, Anton, why do you care about what happens to Jonathan Majors? You don't know him. Well, that's true. But then at the same time, it can happen to any one of us, right? And so it's not about whether or not I care about Jonathan Majors, it's about what it is that he represents. He represents a guy that has dedicated his entire life, his entire life to his craft, great at what he does, was at the top of his field, Ant-Man, Creed, all of these different motion pictures, Loki and all of this other type of stuff. He was basically about to be at the center and the core of saving the Mar Marvel Cinematic Universe, which was absolutely trash without him. But that's in a, you know, a whole nother conversation. But my point is, is that his entire downfall was largely based off of one woman's accusation. And that was enough to, for him to lose all of his sponsorships, all of his potential opportunities. Marvel is stupid as they are. Now, think about this. Think about this for a minute. DC still got Amber Heard, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, over an Aquaman. But Jonathan Majors, and, and she was proven to be a complete liar, even to the point to where when I seen the release of the new Aquaman trailer, and I seen her in it, and then you go down into the comments, clearly people are like, yo, I don't even know if I could support this, consi you know, considering that Amber Heard is still in it. But then Jonathan Majors is accused. The prosecutor is still prosecuting him, even though there's evidence that shows otherwise, both audio and video. He loses everything based off of an accusation because he's never gonna get that back, right? And they're still trying to prosecute him and throw his entire life that he worked for down the drain. The reason why this is important for our society and the reason why not only guys, but women really need to get behind this type of thing is because a injustice done to anybody is an injustice done to everybody. All of a sudden we forget about that. Nobody wants to show up to court when it came to Tyrese and him saying that, yo, he's absolutely being abused when it comes to the child support laws. But then we wanna have a conversation about what it is that we need to do for women or let some woman accuse a man or anything like that and then the whole world stops and then all of a sudden black girls rock, right? But when you have an injustice done against a man and this is one of the reasons why guys say on a regular basis that we're held accountable by default even when we don't do anything, nobody got nothing to say. Nobody's concerned, nobody's interested in having a conversation about it, everybody just going about their day. Now, when he got accused of it, Everybody was holding him accountable and saying how trash he was, even to the point to where there were women that were saying that he shouldn't have been talking to a woman that wasn't looking like them in the first place. What does that have to do with the price of potatoes in China? How is he still not being supported because he's a human being? Black women align themselves with white women in order to continue to push forward the feminist movement to their own demise, breaking up their own families, but you're unwilling to hold accountable a woman similar to the same way that they did Amber Heard and Johnny Depp, you're unwilling to hold a, a woman accountable and everybody just forget about it like nothing ever happened. Travis Rudolph, 
chick just empowered her brothers to go and crash out in order to try to ruin this dude's life. And guess what? Nobody tripped, nobody cared. Everybody just continued to go about their day. And even guys, even guys, you know, this simping and this empowerment of women, and I can't wait to jump on a live stream over the weekend on the Anton Daniels channel. Make sure you guys tune in. This simping for women has got to stop until you start holding these women accountable, even to the point to where I think that women that falsely accuse guys of things that they shouldn't do or that they didn't do, I think that they should get a similar punishment because the only way that you're gonna stop it is by starting to hold people accountable. The only woman that I've seen being held accountable for false accusations is Carly Russell. You know, the chick that said that she seen a white baby on the side of the road in order to make sure that she brung attention to the fact that she was out here stealing the target and then going outside and losing her job. You know, that chick. And it took the prosecutor, and even to the point to where they only slapped her with a misdemeanor to where they can't really do anything about it. Used all of the county's resources, absolutely abused the system, and then, and then decided to go about just living her life. Nobody tripped about it. And then I even seen, uh, those clowns on the breakfast club still defending her and saying that it had to be a black or white issue as far as the fact that they were still prosecuting her. But we still continue to advocate for women to be able to do whatever it is that they want to do when they want to do it because by default, we just give them a pass. Why? Why? So they advocated for equal, but it's only equal when it comes to their ability to level up, be more successful, be great and all of that. It's not equal when it comes to the accountability. It's not equal when it comes to family court laws and updating those. It's not equal when it comes to prison reform and the fact that guys absolutely, 100%, he said hi. <laughs> it's not equal when it comes to the things that men have to deal with on a regular basis that ultimately women advocate against. I don't understand it. I don't understand how we can continue to let this injustice be done, even though we got evidence and we continue to let these people just get away with murder, basically, and not be held accountable whatsoever. It's disrespectful. It's unfortunate. And it continues to contribute to the downfall of this great country because we've let things go, go and spiral so far out of control to where we can't even put the genie back in the bottle we already gone too late, but I'ma just continue to beat this dead horse. I'ma continue to advocate. I'ma continue to push. I'ma continue to uh, use my platform and my voice in order to bring visibility to it. And I know it's not a popular subject to talk about. I could talk about things. I know that there's things that I can talk about right now that get way more visibility, way more views, make me way more money. But, but instead, I'ma go ahead and stick with my guys and push for my guys to continue to be great. And the one way I could do it, the one way I can do it is because you know I hold my guys accountable and I push them. But then at the same time, I got to make sure when I see an injustice, I'm going to just call it out when I can and if I can. And when I can use my platform in order to do so, it's important. I've been following this and capturing this the entire time on the Millionaire Morning Show, giving y'all the quick hits, giving y'all the updates. And then when the trial is concluded, then I'll give my final thoughts. But in a general sense, it's disrespectful. It's unfortunate. And guys, gonna continue, gonna they're going to continue to have to go through this as long as we act like it don't exist. Make sure you hit a like for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Um, tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat, bro.